Now, let's go to the workflow. Our settings, you can find the form design, workflow design, and category. Firstly, let me introduce you the category. Here, you can set the workflow category. I've already set four categories here. And if you want to add a new category, you can click here. Input the name, set the permission, and submit. Let's go back. And now, let's create a form for the leave application. And click here. This is our form editor. Before we introduce some controls and some functions, let's switch to the simple designer. Simple designer, you can drag the control here to design your form, but it is very limited. In this session, we mainly introduce the standard editor. And we input the name. Set the form category, human resources, save. Now let's see. The leave application form is like this. It has 14 rows and four columns. Now we insert the table layout. 14 rows and four columns. Similar with the Excel, you can merge these cells. You can set the front style here. And we can see in this form we have four parts rules, basic information, lead details, and comments. Second style. And set the background color. And then for the first part, rules. Before we insert the rules about the leave application, let's go to the document. We already created the leave application rules here. And if you want to create a new document, you can click here and click here. Input the name, content, and submit. Let's go back. And now we need to insert this document. We use the editor control and put the name. Remember, for each control, we should input the name because maybe for the next step, we need to use this control relate to other control. And find the initial content, system data, find the document, select this one, and at the bottom, select the insert content. The first few lines. We can find there is one more line. For more details, please refer to leave application rules. And when we click leave application rules, it will jump to the document. Let me show you how to set this. Yeah. 
Same as before, find this document, and here select insert link instead of insert content. Okay, that's pretty good. And you can find we can input something here. It means when the user creates a new leave application for workflow, they can input something here. And if they click here, it cannot jump to the documents. Let's go back and select the read only. You can find now we cannot input anything here. And if you click here, it will jump to the document. This is the first part, the rules. Let's see the second part. For the basic information, it contains applicant, position, department, position, and oh, here is. This ball can show automatically. Let me show you how to realize that. For the applicant, it should be the users in our system. So we use the system data. Click the option source, find the commonly used user. And here, for the default option, if you choose the empty, it means you need to select the applicant by yourself. And now here we choose the current user. Okay. And for the department, okay. Before we input the department, let me show you. See, when we open this form, the applicant can be filled automatically. This is a current user. And of course, we can add someone by yourself. And for the department position, we use the text box. For the department, source, system data, and find the user, user, user department name. For the parent control, we use the applicant. The position is quite similar. Rules. Remember, in our system, roles is the position. Look here. And the final one is a day. We use a text box as well. And here we choose the format, date, and time, and select the current date and time. Let's see user want to create a new leave application workflow this basic information will be filled automatically let's say the third part leave details it contains like the leave time leave balance stop time the time and uh, 
duration sigma sine of one is Only type we hope it relate with our lips module. So how we use our control to realize? We select the drop down box. And the option source for the system data. We can find lead management here and select lead type. The users of the chain. Now let's see. Here we can choose the lead type we have already set in the lead model. And for the lead balance, it is related with the lead type. Okay, we find the label then and find the current available allowance. And for the lead applicant, lead type. Now, let's see. The first are annual leave. The leave balance will show automatically. For the start time, we need to check box and set a format as time. Same with the And for the leave duration, is time minus start time use a text box too. and and here we choose the data time calculation and we apply the scheduling rules in our system and find the associate user control as an applicant and find the how they control the lead type. And then find the source. And we use the calculation, insert a control, and time. Minus dot one. And now let's try. Select the annual leaf. And for example, dot day. As we can see, the leaf duration is two. And for the remark, the text box here. Very simple. And for attachment, we use the attachment. Upload file. Here you can upload the local files. And for the final part, comments. It contains the comments from team leader, director, HR manager, and up. Here we use a countersign control. 
And you can get the detail of this countersign. For example, is your asteroid tag here? So you can do this. And uh, the director, HR manager, archive is quite similar. So I'll put a control three and Now let's see. We finish the leave obligation form. Now for the next step, we need to create the workflow for the leave obligation. And uh, let's see. This is our leave obligation workflow, and there are some requirements about this workflow. Let me show you one by one. Click here, new flow. For the name, we use the leave obligation. And select the form. That's me. Let me check. We then rename this as okay. Let's select the form for the workflow category human resources. There are five parts about this workflow. The first part is about the basic information. And here you can set like the name, workflow category, form, number, and for the serial number here. If you want a serial number, the format is like, for example, like the eight and six digits serial number and click here. Remember, click the element in order and confirm. We find the serial number is date and six digits serial number. And for the workflow title, we can use like Insert this one to get control of the end. A duration. Let's preview the workflow title. And seven. That's all for the basic information. And let let's go to the next step, the note setting. And you can find that there are three modes: summary, list, and the flowchart. Let's go to the flowchart firstly. And this is start note, and we have one, two, three, four, five, five nodes of department manager, HR manager, director, and arc. Right on your mouth. Let's organize this note. Like this picture. 
Okay, and click here to link this one. Okay, let's see the same as this picture. And the one, two, three, we have already set. And for the condition four, let's see. If leave duration less than or equal to two days, this workflow is like this. After the HR manager goes to archive, if the leave duration more than two days after the HR manager goes to director, and archive. Let's say click right. And from the HR manager to a director, set into a control lead duration. More than two. And we can do the export condition verification. For example, if we a For the leave duration is one, do not flow to director. This is straight, flow to director. That's what we want. Let's save and close. And for here, set leave duration or equal to two. two. Two days go to archive. Three days do not go to archive. Save and close. And then let's go back to the list mode. And here there are more information about each node. For start node, you can set the base, basic information here. Of course, for the department manager node, HR manager node, archive node, and director node. Okay. And here you can include the node description. And for the access, you can set the condition of the access. For example, like the HR manager, we have already set the conditions of the access in the flow chart mode. And the reject, you can set something about this reject for the conditions of access, the reject specify the reject node, and for the operation, like the end, auto save, cancel, delayed, or forward, like this. You can set here for each node. And for the operator, for the start node, the operator should be the users in our system. So here. Select all here. Let's save setting. For department manager, we can use the smart calculation. And for the workflow creator, we can choose the superior is the department manager. For the HR manager, set this row. Find HR manager because we have only one HR manager in our system, so we do not need to set the default cost and the default handler. And from archive, archive. This is for the HR assistant. Yeah, this is the Really, yeah. For the director, you can do the smart acquisition. The flow creator, find the head of the department. Let's see. For the operator part, that's all. Okay, and the next part is about the field. 
the same means you can here you can set the operation like a uh, user can a weather can be at uh the, this field here you can set the operation it means for each node user weather can edit the field here for example like the workflow title we have already set number comment okay And for the the attachment. Okay, we find the application department data date and the position will show automatically as a lead type. Lead balance and show automatically and for the start time. That's fine. The duration will be calculated for the remark. It is not required. Attachment. Section. And for the department manager, so like this one. Leader. And here you can set the counter sign visible to each other or the counter sign not visible to each other. And for the other manager. And of course, you can select it as a counter sign not visible to each other for the director. The default saving means you can see this will go to others. The timeout, you can set like you know, how long does this workflow timeout after reaching this note and set the remind. And start workflow means after this workflow finish, it will trigger the start workflow and the form template for node I will introduce this uh, in the next workflow the reimbursement workflow and for the validation for example because in the leave application we hold the leave balance cannot more than leave duration cannot less than leave duration right so here we can use the validation function and find the start node. And you can set the cannot one. And set the condition. Set some. Set some over to controls. Big balance. Set them here. And this is the second part for the workflow settings. Let's see the offset data. The third part is the offset data. This function can help us to synchronize the data with other modules. For the application, we hope the data can be sent out to the leaves and attendance module. And now we click here, new. And for the main, let's see. And for the outset time, there are some options we can choose. And we select the outset when the node is submitted. In outset node, we select the arc. In outset time, internal system. And 
data handle type, right? The new update or delete. So here we choose the new and select the module attendance, delete. And here we need to match the field with the module field. So user type would match with the workflow creator ID. Lead type, the start time. And this lead time is the end time. And Okay. And you can see, set the offset conditions here. And for the next part, it's about the monitor setting. And here we can set the main as a monitor of this workflow. We usually set the main as a workflow monitor because if there is a problem, we can find immediately so that all the permissions and for the more see other settings like the basic settings archive rent you know workflow reminder hope they have template workflow timing trigger and some automatic process by the same sponsor or other settings and for the basic setting there is the label this Display setting. You can choose which labels we hope it can show us. Work switch setting. Um, the page of the operator. Check settings and under settings here. And the archive. If we select this, after we finish this workflow, the workflow will be archived in the folder. The folder we choose and the contain reminder. And now we have finished with all the workflow settings about all these applications. Let's try. There, new request. Apply the level vacation training. Okay, before we submit this application, please the settings users to check whether the admin has superior here. Okay, let's go back. And then choose the start time. For example, let's do the choose end time. Okay. And we can go. If we can go to the monitor to handle this workflow. Summit. Okay, first we'll submit it successfully. And now let's check whether the data is synchronized with other module like the attendance. Let's see. Go okay. here. Leave. And the reason set in the leaves module. Okay. Oh, for the leave obligation workflow. 